In those days John the Baptist came, preaching in the desert of Judea and saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is near. This is he who was spoken of, as is written in the book of Isaiah the prophet. I will send my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way. A voice of one calling in the desert, Prepare the way for the Lord, make straight paths for him. Every valley shall be filled in, and every mountain and hill made low. The crooked paths shall become straight, the rough ways smooth, and all mankind will see God's salvation. And so John came, sent from God. He went into all the country around the Jordan, baptising in the desert region and preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. He came as a witness to testify concerning that light, so that through him all men might believe. He himself was not that light, he came only as a witness to the light. John wore clothing made of camel's hair, with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. People went out to him from Jerusalem and all Judea and the whole region of the Jordan. Confessing their sins, they were baptised by him in the Jordan River. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees coming to where he was baptising, he said to them, You brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the coming wrath? Produce fruit in keeping with repentance, and do not think you can say to yourselves, We have Abraham as our father. I tell you that out of these stones God can raise up children for Abraham. The axe is already at the root of the trees, and every tree that does not produce good fruit will be cut down and thrown into the fire. What should we do then? the crowd asked. John answered, The person who has two tunics should share with those who have none, and the one who has food should do the same. Tax collectors also came to be baptised. Teacher, they asked, what should we do? Don't collect any more than you are required to, he told them. Then some soldiers asked him, and what should we do? He replied, don't extort money and don't accuse people falsely. Be content with your pay. The people are waiting expectantly and were all wondering in their hearts if John might possibly be the Christ. John answered them all, and this was his message. I baptise you with water for repentance, but after me will come who is more powerful than I, the thongs of whose sandals I am not worthy to stoop down and untie, and even unfit to carry. He will baptise you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. His winnowing fork is in his hand to clear his threshing floor and to gather the wheat into his barn. But he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. And with many other words, John exhorted the people and preached the good news to them. <laughs> 